Here's how to make your own alcohol, and the best part is you can customize it however you want. Today I'm making orange blossom mead, and if you haven't heard of mead, it's basically wine made from honey. The full recipe will be added in my recipe book soon, so make sure to check it out if you haven't already. The first thing you're going to do is add orange blossom honey to your sanitized vessel, and if you're wondering where you can find the equipment I use, I've linked everything in my storefront. Next, you're going to carefully slice up an orange. Some people avoid adding the whole orange since the peel and the pith can add strong flavors, but you can play around with the recipe and decide what works for you. Then you're going to top everything off with water, but be sure to leave a little bit of space at the top so you can add your yeast and yeast nutrient. Before adding your yeast, make sure to hydrate it. This is my favorite yeast to use, and it should produce an alcohol content between 11 and 15%, depending on the amount of honey you use. Here add a Campton tablet, which will prevent any sort of unwanted bacteria growth. Now I recently learned that Campton tablets can actually kill your yeast if they're added at the same time, so most people recommend adding them 24 hours before you add your yeast. Luckily, that didn't happen for me and fermentation started out just fine. Finally, you're going to stir everything together and add an airlock so that the CO2 produced during fermentation